We have an alarming rate of food allergies, and it's a canary in a coal mine. You know, miners took canaries into coal mines to monitor the quality and safety of the air. Canaries, they have an extremely sensitive lungs, and if they died, the miners would get out of the coal mine fast. Well, researchers are beginning to understand why there's such a dramatic increase in allergies, and they're zeroing in on the gut as the barometer of the underlying problem. Hello, I'm Dr. James Christosik, a.k.a. Dr. Good Carbs. I'm Northeast Ohio's leading expert in functional medicine, natural medicine since 1986. And I'm on a mission to help improve your gut health. Well, coming up in just a minute, I'm going to tell you one of my favorite and delicious ways to decrease allergic reactions to improve your gut health. But for now, let's dig into today's topic. Well, have you ever wondered why one person in a family has food allergies or maybe food sensitivities, while another person in the same family doesn't? Or why was one person with peanut allergies, and another to soy, another to dairy, and another to some other food? Or how about one person develops allergies during childhood, you know, early on in life, and another person develops food allergies later on in life? More than likely, you were taught the reason these things happen? Well, it's because of genetics, right? Well, as it turns out, our genetics does play a role in food allergies, but it plays a very little role. On the other hand, you may be surprised to find out the type of bacteria living in your gut plays a much bigger role in allergies. There are some bacteria that prevent allergies and promote a healthy gut, while others trigger inflammation and allergic reactions. Researchers recently have discovered environmental factors like the type of bacteria living inside your gut while well, they play a major role in the development of food allergies. Now, these researchers, they found out if the right bacteria is living inside your gut, when, you know, when a food enters into your digestive tract, well, the bacteria will flip a switch to trigger the correct immune response. You know, the bacteria will allow the food to pass through the intestines without any allergic reaction. But if the wrong bacteria is living in the gut, when food enters into it, there's an uncontrolled response and that can occur with a food allergy and that will end up with inflammation as a result. Scientists have found that certain types of bacteria are elevated individuals with food allergies. They took germ-free mice and they injected them with gut bacteria from babies who had a history of food allergies. Well, these mice developed food allergies. Another group of germ-free mice were injected with bacteria from babies that didn't have any food allergies, and the mice, of course, didn't develop any food allergies. The scientists were amazed. Well, as they dug deeper, they found elevated levels of a group of bacteria called Formicutes. Well, it's associated with decreased incidence of food allergies. Well, the specific strain of bacteria that was associated with no allergies is called Clostridia. When the scientists discovered that Glostridia living in the gut of allergy-free mice, they produced a substance called butyrate. Now, this is a byproduct of the digestion of fiber by the bacteria living inside the gut. And when the fiber is there and the bacteria eats it, the bacteria sends a signal through the butyrate and it flips off the switch to off position to stop the food allergies. Butyrate also protects the lining of the gut from from eroding, and that prevents leaky gut, another major cause of hidden food allergies. Now, here's one of my favorite ways to increase the beneficial bacteria that turns off the switch for food allergy reactions. It's sourdough bread. Mmm, it's absolutely delicious. This amazing bread is made with a live culture of lactobacillus acidophilus bacteria. And if you want a recipe for sourdough bread, leave a comment below. And if you like this video and would like more like it, then subscribe to my channel. Tomorrow, I'm going to explain how decades, decades of old concepts about calories in and calories out for weight loss is incorrect. And what the latest research says is the best ways to lose weight. Well, until then, I'm Dr. James Christosik, and I promise I'll keep scouring the research to find natural cures to you know, for your health care problems. Until then, ciao for now.